Hello everyone, it is Twin Plays here, back again with another video. So, um, it's been a bit, not too long, you know, not too long. Uh, I have been thinking about some stuff, and there's people that are wondering about morphs and stuff. And I have had a huge gear wide of doing morphs, so I will be teaching you guys just right now on how to do it. Um, I also want to let you know, I did do a whole thing on it and i mean going from a whole uh just a whole model that will be ready for you guys so if you guys want it'll be in the description go grab grab it right as you can but also as you know um you're gonna have to watch the video because it explains a lot so um let's get into this okay so first things first um you're gonna get my Oh yeah, you're gonna get my tutorial thing, and um, let me get you. It is ready, so I'm gonna copy. Boop. Um, basically, what's gonna happen is you're gonna open it, and there will be a script right here that says "delete me after reading." So we'll get in that in a second here. I forgot that sometimes it just does that. But so of course it's gonna pop up some things. Read the button. You can read this if you want. If you want, you're watching this right now. You don't need to, but there's that for you. Um, floor, just the floor for you. You have the hat remover, which does what it does is removes your hat, of course. So pretty much, um, let's say this guy. If you were to import him, it would remove his hat, basically. If you were to step on it. Um, so we have that. Uh, Next thing we have is the Morph Roblox tutorial. This one I just found, and I said it's a pretty nice one. So, um, a few ways you can do this one is, uh, I I didn't really go through this. I gotta be honest with you. There's a lot of things you can do with this. I guess you could say you can change this fully customized by yourself, whatever you way you like. Um, and that that means like doing whatever you want. It basically pretty much everything. So this is all you guys. Uh, do whatever you want with this. Um, basically, what you're changing in this one is just the body colors, the pants, and the shirt. And I'll show you how to do that. Go here. Go to your Roblox part. Avatar shop, basically, I guess you could say. Clothing. Shirts. Ooh, so cute. Um, open, make a new tab. Pants. Let's get... Ooh, look at that this now grab that pants boom get a little euro part there's the pants for you go up here Michael Jordan yeah sick bro and then you get that for you shirt boop. there you go so there's that for you and then um the head you can add your um, hats and do whatever you want with that. You can also, for a decal, you gotta go face. You can just search up a face, it'll grab all the faces for you. Um, so if we were to get that, grab that decal, put it on the head, boom, you're done. That's how you do it. Super simple, super stuff. Um, another thing to know is, uh, morph the stuff you don't really have to worry about. Left leg, left arm, that kind of stuff. This is, this one's basically your own thing. You can create this yourself. Um, I didn't make this, so it's going to be a little weird. I'm going to show you what happens. Um, this was made by someone else, uh, but uh, this is a loading one, so it's a little bit different. Let's just say that. Uh, but, yeah, this one's basically finding your own things, and uh, pretty much that's it. So This one, I think, is just a simple kind of one like this, and it does come with hair. So I'm guessing this one's just for... Uh, doing um body colors and etc not shirts and pants and everything so this is just for sorry what did i just say this is just for shirts pants and colors and stuff so you're gonna step on it it's gonna pop up the little loading thing i can probably show you guys how to get rid of that if you don't want it but um then there you go so basically it's one for just shirts and shorts and uh your face so there's that for you so this kind of works for other things too because if people want to just do that they can move into that like that now it look like this. And also, how remember, let's just show you that too. Moves your hats for you. So basically, that's like a cl clean little simple tutorial. Also, in my last lighting video, I didn't show you, but this is Sunrays. 
if you can see all these centroids on the left right here. But yeah, and I also did his knee on changing lights if you want to watch that too. Um, but yeah, so that's a simple thing. Um, that's just for this one. Super cool, honestly. It's pretty simple. Then over here, we got a few different ones for you. Let me uh, actually get into this real quick. Um, there is an anti-package script you might have to use. I don't remember having it for our Merc model. If you guys do need an anti-package script, I can just make a quick video on that or a quick model link, and I'll just import it in the description. It's super simple, super easy. Um, and also, I'll show you guys, uh, if you guys want me to make a video on best admin scripts that you can use in Roblox, just let me know. Um, so, there's a few things here. Uh, we have R15 right here, this R15, and then we have R6. So I'm going to do R6 for you real quick. So this one I actually made a while ago. I mean, a long time ago. Um, these are like simple ones where they put on the armor and everything. So basically that's what happened. But, you know, if you didn't have an anti-package script, that's going to happen. Where your package is going to be like that. So you are able to do that in a bit here. So we have that. Um, another one is same thing. Pretty much, yeah, same thing. So there's that for you. Pretty simple stuff. R6. This one's kind of the same too. Also comes with sound and effects. Um, I did put that down there if you need that. Um, but also, like, that one did not have a hat remover too, so you might want to change that. I'll show you guys in a second how to make basically make your own morph. This one kind of needs help. but um, So there's a few things with these new ones too. Um, when you make these, there's going to either be a button for it or there's not. This one's very advanced, more advanced than new. I recommend using this one for the script. Um, but this one's just a quick tap right there because the bottle slash button is mm, transparent is right there for you so let me refresh myself actually no i don't need to refresh myself i'm gonna go quickly in the r15 show you guys real quick what this one is because this one will be pretty sick also kind of my head's kind of screwed up because i have a fake invisible head but there's that for you so step on that <laughs> oh shit sick R15? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did not lose that. Uh, this is a free model, too, but that's an R15, that one that works, I guess. Um, the R15 is uh, kind of the same thing, I guess you could say. It really depends. It, if it's an R15 game, it's these models will work. But let's show you. So how do you use this stuff? Um, so this is the main one I want you to focus on, of course, because it has the good stuff. So when it comes to making morphs, you got to stick to a few things, and that's... that's um. Making sure you have your head and all of the body parts and flag label. That's just if you want. This is more of a Sith kind of thing, like I said, for a Star Wars game. If you guys want me to show you that, I can. I also do have a working morph GUI that I can show you how it works and everything for that. So let me know if you need a morph GUI. Um, but so there's that kind of thing. It's the text and everything. So the main part is the head, of course. It has all the scripts. I'm going to show you guys that in a second. So when you're making these... Um, you want to make sure you have everything, and these, these can time to time lag a lot. These ones can lag your game a lot because they're more parts, but coming to like these ones, um, I actually made these a while ago. These are all meshes, and that's something I re recommend doing too, but um, these ones are pretty simple too. So we have uh, the med head, like I said. That, that head is a button. If you guys want to work on this one too, uh, I'm going to pull that one up real quick. Um, the Lord. The head for this one is the same thing, hat remover, pad script, everything like in here. And all you guys need to realize, you don't need to change anything in this area. You can add things, like you can maybe add the invisible head to this one too if you want. They're basically both the same. Um, another thing is walk speed, that's different. You don't, uh, 16 is normal, so um, 16 is the normal walk speed, so you don't have to worry about that right now. But you can change that if you want. Um, to add like a superpower basically. So if you want to do a superhero, you could uh, go to walk street strip, change that to like 20 or whatever. But so um, another thing is where is that? There's sometimes a little bit of a problem when it comes to meshes, because I actually made this one and I'm surprised I did. So if you do do this one morph script, this one is meant for meshes. So just just let me know if you do need a, if you are looking for a meshed one, this is mesh. So, um, if you are doing meshes where it's just meshes and not parts, basically, uh, use this head right here. So basically, like I said, focus on the heads. All you got to really do is that. Um, when it comes to actually making the things, 
make sure you do use these kind of things but like see how these legs and eyes they're all what the, what it is is it's just invisible stuff on the normal one and this one's meshed so it's literally everything's transparent but the meshes see how the arms are kind of like that and it's basically connected if you see what i mean um but yeah so it's that's pretty much it everything here is the same it's like a natural human being but just with meshes so um when you do change these kind of things really just i don't know what to say rather than um make sure when you're making it you gotta have arm one arm two chest eyes leg one leg two and then the head and that's it for you that's literally the basic of making a morph model is having the leg head, eyes chest arm two arm one and these are all newer versions so if this is kind of confusing you go ahead there's a lot of videos on it um it's kind of like what i'm trying to do right now i'm actually in making new ninjago morphs and uh i need to fix them because they're a little bit broken right now um because i'm trying what i'm trying to do is where it morphs you into these and as i mean like it will morph you into this body you know um there's tons of morphs i have so it's insane but um like this kind of stuff is all Star Wars, and if you guys need something like that, just let me know. But uh, these you can you can make a bit of your own things. Um, I don't know. Uh, I do have the morph two eye too. There's a lot of other morphs too that I do have, like uh, very nice ones like these ones. Um, if you guys are looking for a, oof, I should have that. Let me let me add that real quick. Um, it's a. Uh, pretty simple when it comes to uh right here okay so this is kind of a new one too get player rank in group it parent yeah so um i'm gonna put this into here let me show you guys how this one works um This is for the group rank. Let's do that. It might not work. I mean, it does work. Um, but the it might not work in game because I'm not gonna actually like try it out. But um, what it is, I did this before. What's happening here is, uh, you go to here. Same thing like I said. Helmet. This one's different with the helmet. You can put on the helmet if I'm right. This one's very new too. It's very nice. Very nice. Um. So what's happening here is you got the helmet, uh, that kind of thing. In the more settings, you can choose this. You can change the hats, change skin, whatever, whatever works. Okay, you move hats. I think it's recommended, honestly. Um, when it says don't edit past here, yes, don't edit. But this is where you can edit. Group rank change. You can edit this and the name too so basically you can change your add your group and then go to your make sure you have you know your ranks and just list them and that means it's either less or equal to so i'm pretty sure if you're less than this rank you can't be input into this so um just if you want it to be where everyone can access i would just put it at one bit basically if you are looking for um let's see here Change to change the nine number to what you your group is, and also change to four to the group rank ID. So just change that to one if you want everyone to use it. If you don't, and you want to only use it, just use two fifty five. And what this is doing is killing them basically. Um, this one is name lock, so if there's someone name, you will die. So basically, a name, basically name locked if you get it. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for this one. This one's pretty new too. I I'd recommend using this if you want. Um, but yeah, you guys. So uh. That's pretty much the tutorial. I'm gonna have to override an existing. Um, just really 
really focus on the head, what you're doing, and if you guys want one that's really on um how there's a there's a lot of ones you can talk about um if you guys want one where it's just about uh um how am I gonna say it just turning into someone when you spawn in I can help you with that that's super easy or if you want one I can make you a video on how to make a custom player GUI so like a for a survival game because I have done that before that's a lot of fun and I am down to help you guys out with that so just as um just let me know but uh there's that for you and if you need anything else um yeah just comment below and if there is if it is this was too complicated there's a lot of videos out there just search them up on youtube but yeah there you go but make sure to subscribe comment and like too <laughs> see ya